Hello, I'm Deb Troutman. I'm the K-12 math coordinator from Fayette County Public Schools in Georgia. And I'm here just to speak about my experience with Dreambox in my position. I got this position two years ago and along with the position, Dreambox was already in the elementary schools. And I've learned a lot in the two years working with the elementary teachers with Dreambox. I did an in-person professional development at all the elementary schools. And if you have a chance to do that with, with your schools, it was phenomenal. The, um, the instructors were very informational, very professional, and had a great agenda for the teachers with all the information that they could refer back to, which we have referred back to many times. And it was just a great professional development. And even though my elementary teachers have used Dreambox for four years prior to that, they learned a lot of new or areas that they weren't as familiar with that were going to help them progress in the classroom. Another area that I love about Dreambox is I constantly need support. And then if you call or you email their um, contact support, they are right on top of helping the teachers. They're also, they want feedback from the teachers on what can we do to improve the program. So their contact support is readily available and they're right on top of fixing any problems that we need to have. Being new with Dreambox last year, I had a lot to learn because my teachers were way ahead of me. I watch the Flex PDs on Dreambox. They are short videos, very informative, and very easy to understand. So that is a great feature because every year you're getting new elementary teachers and you're hoping that you hit base with all of them to help them. But if I refer them to the Flex PDs, they will understand what, how Dreambox operates. The data from Dreambox is unbelievable. It's easily accessible and very easy to understand. Um, I encourage my teachers to go into that on a weekly basis, pick five kids and work with those five on areas where they may see gaps with it. The teachers use the data a lot, especially with the assigned focus. That's probably one of the most favorite aspects of Dreambox for our teachers. And they really use it pr the month prior to our end of course testing. And we've had great results with that. Our one fourth grade teacher, she is very adamant about it through the month of March and her test scores are phenomenal every year. And I contribute some of that success through being able to use the sign focus and closing gaps. Our teachers are constantly closing gaps and achievement for the students by referring to the data and using the assigned focus. I also, and the teachers also like the reports which they learn through their in-person PD, the reports that they can print out for the EIP students and their, t their parents. So it's a great resource to have for parent conferences. During this pandemic, I received emails from teachers saying how great Dreambox was for them, even though they've had it for five years now. I think just having to do virtual learning and being able to you know, individualized for each student. It's a great program to see that the students are still growing and they're still closing those gaps. I've had several emails asking, are we going, are the um, students going to have access to Dreambox through this summer? I think the parents are also reaching out about that. So I am, I am glad when I took this job that I did inherit Dreambox as a grandparent, I have a very young, she's two and a half, but when she's old enough to have a subscription to Dreambox, I will definitely be reaching out to have her on Dreambox also. I am so excited about the predictive insights that will be coming May 4th. Um, I haven't shared that with our county, but just 
the, the administrators are going to love the aspect of sharing that data and having those data talks with the teachers about where we're predicting the students are and how they are progressing. But overall, I definitely love having Dreambox in our county. We continue to grow with it. And if you ever have any questions, you can reach out to me at Fayette County Schools, Deb Troutman. Thank you.